Hi guys, so in this video we will see how the particle position works. Uh, so this for to use this you need a particle system also. So let's say if you connect it here in the emissive and save and here in the Niagara I have this fountain and if I use this material here according to the particle position it will give you the colors okay so actually you can do the same thing in niagara without using this node and you can use just the particle color and just save this now all the particles are white so you can take the color here and then dynamic input and you can use the position and connect this here so this will give you the same colors same position so there was some confusion, some uh, wrong information I uh, given in a previous video, not the last video, but in this one, particle direction node. So this node. So in this video, I also use the particle position in Niagara, uh, in Niagara like this, that was showing me this cover. And I said that this is the same thing at particle direction. But that is not correct thing. So I apologize for that wrong information. And this guy, the subscriber also commented me that thing that he noted that I'm doing that wrong thing. So you are right buddy. So I will show you that now the particle direction is, is the which direction particle heading for like the velocity. So I'll show you the difference in this video. I will clarify this particle direction node also again. So like if you are using particle position, okay, and save this. If you don't have any thing here, you have just a sphere, maybe 100 and don't gravity. See, still without any velocity, it's showing me the particle position. Because particle will have any position anyway. If you have any force or not, there will be particle position, okay? So this is the particle position. And if you don't want same output like this without this node, you can now do this thing. So you now can use the color and just connect it with the particle position. So you can just make this and here you can take the position. The same thing that I just did. So this is the same thing, okay, that this node is giving me. So that's just the same thing. So it gives you the per particle position that I can access without this node. So we don't need this node when we are working in Niagara. Now comes to this particle direction, which is I have already explained, but there's a little miscommunication. Uh, so what is do if I connect this here, okay, and save this and I remove this. See, this is just a black. Although we have this particle direction connected, but this is showing in black because particle don't have any direction. But if you connect a curl noise here and make it like 100, 10, now the particles are moving that direction. So the green particle is moving to the green axis, the y axis, the red particle is moving to the red, the x axis. Okay, so this is the direction and how you can do the same thing in Niagara without this node. So I'll show you now. So save this. Now these are all white and now on the color go to dynamic parameter again instead of particle position you can take the velocity and then connect it again. And this is the same thing. Although velocity and direction is not the exactly same thing, but because velocity is moving the particle to the direction, so that is that can be used for the same reason. So that's the expression. So if you are watching this video also, I will put the link of this video so you can check that also. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.